Hello, 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 and welcome to Beverly's Kitchen. My name is Beverly Lucas, and I am the host of For the Love of Cooking Fridays. What do I do on Fridays? I try to show you how to make a meal from scratch that is better than the restaurant. It is always better than the restaurant. But let me tell you something. Today is Friday, and I've had a long week, and I am so tired. But I said, I got to be consistent in what I say that I'm going to do. So even though I am pushing myself, and sometimes that's what we have to do. We have to push ourselves. We have to push ourselves um, to remain in our consistency. So I've been cooking practically all week. But guess what? We are still going to prepare something for you on today. Cacciatore, a derivative of the Italian word for hunter that refers to the preparation procedure as well as the ingredients typically used for several different types of game dishes. When prepared, the key ingredient of cacciatore is the meat, which may be rabbit, chicken, pork, turkey, wild fowl, alligator, lamb, or veal. You know what? When Beverly returns from a break, Let's see if she can make this with alligator. But moving on, our cacciatore is sautéed and cooked very slowly. The meat is combined with mushrooms, tomatoes, herbs, onions, wine, and other seasonings in order to enhance the flavor. The pan drippings are often used to make a cacciatore sauce that is mixed in with the simmering ingredients. In French, a cacciatore is referred to as a la chasseur while in the U.S. it is simply called a cacciatore, such as what we're about to make, a chicken cacciatore. So first and foremost, before we prepare this meal, we've got to make certain that when we're making this dish, that our boo feels the love that we put inside of this. So what I suggest you do is you find your boo's favorite song and you play it while you're making this and play it over and over and over and over till you finish it, you'll be so sick of that song, but it'll be worth it. Because at the end of the day, that love, that extra ingredients that you put in this, which comes from that song that she loves so much, it's going to pay some good benefits in the back end. So, as I return to Voice Over Voice, Let's let the music marinate for a moment. Now we're prepared for a very important moment. Don't skip this. This is where you place your seasonings before your music so that the music can set in to the seed of your seasonings. Now, let's tend to our chicken, which we washed earlier, placed in the bowl, and now it's time for us to dab it and dry it off and apply our seasonings. First, we'll apply a little bit of salt. Next up, pepper, just a little bit as well. Next up, garlic powder. Looks like we've got a heavy hand for this garlic powder. Next up, onion powder. And we still have a heavy hand. From there, we move on to 
seasoning salt. We're a little bit light on this. And lastly, paprika. Now we're going to do this on the other side as well. Now, we're going to pan sear our chicken thighs on both sides in butter and olive oil mixture until golden brown. Let's remove our thighs and put aside. Now in the same oil and butter mixture, Let's add onions and yellow peppers and cook until soft. Add in grated garlic and stir until fragrant. Let's add a quarter cup of white wine and simmer for two minutes. Add mushrooms, tomatoes, basil, smoked paprika, and Italian seasoning, and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Now let's nestle our chicken thighs back into the pan. Let's cover and cook for another 20 minutes. Now, let's add our spinach. When our spinach is wilted, let's add slices of mozzarella cheese and cover. In the meantime, let's cook our thin spaghetti according to the box directions. Our chicken cacciatore is now done and is served in a black cast iron skillet or you can use a large bowl. We truly hope you enjoy this episode of For the Love of Cooking. It was truly my pleasure, Mr. McBoo, to step in for your host, Beverly Lucas, and bringing you her chicken cacciatore. I hope I did a reasonable job. And what I'd like you to do is let Beverly know in the comment below exactly how Mr. McBoo did. So, for the love of cooking, and for our love for you, but especially for your love for your boo, Beverly's got a gift for you. That is, if you're one of the first three individuals to post a video of your chicken cacciatore using Beverly's recipe, you'll be the winner of an autographed copy 
of Beverly Lucas's For the Love of Cooking. Now inside of that video, we ask that you share that special song that was this special ingredient that made your special chicken cacciatore. Now, how do you get it to us? Again, you're going to upload the video down below in the comments and we ask that you inbox directly Beverly by utilizing the QR code and what will happen is you'll get to her website and be able to send her a direct message. In that message you just let us know who you are and she'll get that book on out to you. But what she will do is she'll correspond to you via the email that you sent just to make certain that it is you. Because this book is hot and people will do almost anything to get it. We want to make certain it gets directly in your hands for your work and your efforts, for your love, for your boo with that chicken cacciatore. And with that, I simply say, God bless you and good day.